What is up, my creative fellows? And I know you have already wondered what the heck is a mishmash. Well, that's a crazy mashup of cartoonish characters. You give me the names, and I can bind them together. That's it. And in this first episode, I can bind four characters. I hope you enjoy the process, and let me know what you think in the comments down below. Here are the two images that I wanted to use for this composite and they have the exact same posing. Isn't that weird? It looks like somebody copied someone over here but it's not my concern, it just made my job a whole lot easier and as you can see I'm just trying to combine elements from these two characters together to kind of merge them together so just uh, removing the shoes and gloves from that guy and putting them on this guy and also I'm just trying to make them look like as if when you look at one of them you're gonna notice the other one, you know what I mean? So I'm just turning this guy blue, which is, as you know, is my favorite color, and it's such a nice color. And... After I changed Goku's color, it was time for the hair. And changing a black hair's color, as you know, is not easy. So instead of changing the color, I tried to recreate the hair from scratch, and as you know, I have a thing for painting the hair, and I believe this has been one of my most favorite hairstyles that I have ever painted but at this point I was just trying to give it some depth using shadows and highlights or actually I was dodging and burning the hair but later on I painted the hair all from scratch and it was such a entertaining part for me I really enjoyed doing that And then I changed this guy's eyes with sonic eyes and warped them around a little bit just to make them more raging and angrier actually. And after I replaced this guy's eyes, I was trying to work on more similarities actually just to make them look even more similar. For example, this dude needed a nose definitely so I just replaced his nose too and it looked kind of cute so I kept it. I was doubtful about it. And then a little bit work on the colors, as you know, uh, the front part of Sonic is just is not blue, so I removed the blue from the front part of this guy's abdomen. It also shows the abs pretty much, you know, it kind of looks better. And also I was skeptical about making the arms look blue too or not, but in the end I decided to make them blue. I think it resembles Sonic a little bit more, and I don't know why. In some versions, Sonic has blue arms, but in some versions, he has like, you know, normal arms, like the skin color, and then that was pretty confusing, I didn't know what to do. And hey, I replaced the shoes too, I mean, the, the old shoes were looking a little bit too cartoonish, and I wanted this guy to look as real as he can, so I replaced the, them shoes with more beautiful shoes. And, and there comes the fun part of this composite. I started working on the details a whole lot more. I added some ears and the fun part was painting the hair. So I recreated the hair from scratch, brush stroke after brush stroke. And it took some time. Honestly, I wouldn't think like it would take so long, but it did. But I was quite satisfied with the results. So I don't regret it. So the rest of the video is just me trying to paint the hair and at the end stylize it, add more visual effects and color grade it to make this thing come to life and enjoy the process. See you on the flip side.
here is the first mishmash. What do you think about it? I named it Soku, Sonic, and Goku. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And good day, the next two characters also suggested by my followers were Minions and Shrek. Okay, these two don't really go well together, the size, the looks, all different. But I gave it a shot and the result was actually so cute, I like that. And let me show you the process. You know the most irritating part about working with these characters is that you can't always find high quality photos of them. And that's kind of a pain in the ass. But somehow you have to be able to work with low quality photos as well. If you're a true artist, that's what you do. And maybe you need to paint it or even shape them in 3D. Recreate the characters and all that, but we're not gonna go too deep. We're just combining photos, maybe in future we'll do more crazy stuff, if you wish.
and after a little cleanup, this is the result. Name this creature, I don't know what to name it. 